Hey, this is Charlie D'Angelo from Art to Enemy, and you're watching the Rock and Metal News. Hey guys, this is Ron from YouTube's Rock and Metal News, and this is your Maximum Threshold Rock and Metal News Report. Soul Patch played in Buffalo, New York, and played a bunch of 90s covers in their set. They played the Town Ballroom on December 22nd, and covered Soundgarden, The Cardigans, Nirvana, among others. The band is formed with Every Time I Die's Keith and Steven, and Joey Dynamite and Nico uh, of Qu Quintana, and drummer Jeff Schaller. You can check out uh, some of the live footage of the covers on YouTube now. Straight from the Path have announced that they will hit the studio next week to start working on their new album. The band has chosen producer Will Putney, who did Shadows Fall, Suicide S and Suicide Silence, so stay tuned for more information on that. And ex-cerebral bore vocalist Simone has posted her cover of Aqua's Barbie Girl on YouTube. Check that out if you dare. And Perfect Circle's uh, Billy Howardell had an interview with LasVegasWeekly.com about another Perfect Circle album. Um, he says, uh, when asked, do you have a, uh, a well of songs that you're waiting to release? He said, kind of. I mean, I haven't sprung them on Maynard yet. He may be like, let's do something last minute, but I kind of doubt it. And also when asked, the last A Perfect Circle album came out in 2004. Are you guys against putting out another one? Question. He said, I'd love to when the time is right. I would. It would be awesome. I'm trying to write songs with that in mind right now. I'm focusing my energy on a new Ashes Divide record, which is underway with 11 songs. Still working on finishing vocals and writing lyrics and hopefully get the mix uh, in for January or February. So look for a new Ashes Divide album out before any new Perfect Circle. And OT uh, Academy recently had an interview with Bullet For My Valentine about their new album, which is now on YouTube, so you can check that out. And continuing with your Maximum Threshold rock and metal news, a video trailer for Pinnacle of Bedlam, the new album from Suffocation, can now be seen on YouTube. The CD is out on February the 15th through Nuclear Blast Records. And finally, Randy Gain, a member of Jeff Tate's new Queensryche suffered a heart attack on December 26th, according to Jeff's Facebook page. Jeff asked fans to please send prayers and positive thoughts to his good friends. This is Ron from YouTube's Rock and Metal News, and that was your Maximum Threshold Rock and Metal News report. Thanks for tuning in.